you so much. Uh, uh, I'm Marco Valenti from L'Aquila University. I think uh, anyone knows L'Aquila as uh, the city where in, uh, sixth, on 6th April uh, 2009 an earthquake destroyed the city and uh, struck the city, uh, producing uh, more than 300 deaths. One of them is uh, Dr. Michele Iavagnilio, who was uh, a rehabilitation therapist at the Center for Autism in L'Aquila. He was following uh, our children, so this presentation is uh, dedicated to his memory. I also should declare my potential conflict of interest in this presentation, because this presentation derives from the engagement of uh, uh, investigators at the university level and parents uh, who speaking to you is at the same time parent of person with autism and investigator. So my uh, conclusion should be probably biased by my specific interest in developing my daughter's follow-up. Uh, what about uh, autism service in Italy? As governments increasingly mandate uh, uh, special autism service, uh, community mental health centers uh, serve a very low percentage of children with uh, autism. Indeed, uh, in Italy, the geographical distribution of special centers is variable, and also the presence of special service for autism in local health agencies is an exception rather than uh, the rule. And facing this scenario, the parents' association are playing in Italy a growing role in promoting local initiatives to implement special autism treatment centers. And a pioneering initiative has been implemented in our region, the Abruzzo region, whose uh, chief town is uh, L'Aquila, where autism centers uh, were established following the interaction between a foundation for parent of parents of persons with ASD and the local health agencies. So this uh, short presentation will focus on uh, two phases. Phase one before the earthquake from a follow-up from May 2007 to April 2009. And the, the study describes the two-year adaptive functioning uh, and was designed as a naturalistic longitudinal investigation. It was of course uncontrolled. In fact, the absence of uh, alternative rehabilitation options in the area represented at the time the, a serious constraint to a control design with regard to ethical issues. The case series was uh, 60 participants uh, with autism, 20 females and 40 males, aged between 4 and 18 years, attending three structures in the Abruzzo region located in L'Aquila, Lanciano and Vasto, and followed up to, uh, for two years. Treatment is based upon behavior modification, though it cannot be regarded too as a pure ABA. Whereas in ABA the focus lies in the family, in our approach the main intervention activities in the rehabilitation community. Participants with autism are admitted to a specialized setting like the center, and their abilities explored and training and intervention rules subsequently assigned to home and school. The measures focused on the assessment of the Thai functioning and the way VABS was used as to communication, daily living, socialization and motor skill areas. This is uh, quite difficult to read the table but uh, in synthesis uh, our information is that uh, um, during a two-year follow-up at any uh, strata by, uh, by gender or by age, the improvement was uh, clear and uh, um, with respect to the baseline data on uh, over the four axes. The phase two of our study begins, uh, uh, much to our regret, on April 6, 2009. At this time, the powerful earthquake measuring 6.3 on the Richter scale struck the territory of L'Aquila. The earthquake spread about a great amount of the territory of the Abruzzo region and left at least 50, 55,000 people without housing. 
and while evaluating the earthquake outcomes on the health status of the population, special attention must be paid to person and family affected by psychiatric disorders, indeed by autism spectrum disorders. Sorry, I'm going to I, I, I am going to close. Uh, so, the aim of the study was to evaluate on the middle and wrong rank the adaptive behavior of participants with autism. And uh, our results demonstrate clearly that six months after the earthquake, uh, the uh, um, overall functioning of people exposed to, uh, to the earthquake was uh, fall following down. But after one year, we can show a resiliency. Uh, as, an indi as indicated by the VABS, with respect to the not exposed people. Also, if we consider the uh, resiliency of uh, families, uh, we can see the same trend in uh, parents of people with autism. So, in conclusion, our results support the implementation of special autism treatment in community centers based on a parent co directed intensive and early intervention. This is our center at the time of the earthquake. This is the new center for adults in the world. Thank, Thank you. you very much.